There are a variety of games on the Hypixel network, such as Bed Wars, Sky Wars, uh, Turbo Kart Racers, but none is more prolific than the game known as Skyblock. I mean, it is just completely dominating the whole playerscape, and today, I make my return. <laughs> So judging on my channel, you would have no idea that I even played this game mainly because you would only see videos based on me playing Bed Wars and complete other servers, so you would have no idea, wow, this guy plays on Skyblock, who would have had any idea of that? Well, I mean, I don't blame you for not having this suspicion, as, you know, most people that play this game don't go around and saying, oh my god, I play Skyblock, please notice me, I'm the greatest guy ever, because in all honesty, playing this game is honestly just a tragedy in and of itself. But regardless though, I have decided to come back, and... I'm just going to explain why that is in the first place. So basically, in short, I've been playing this game for a very long time. I mean, I wouldn't say I've been playing it since release, but I have been playing it roughly since July of 2019, all the way up until November of 2020, where unfortunately, as you can see, that is how old this profile is currently. However, I did have an original profile where the only remnants of that even existing in the first place is this old screenshot from a pumpkin farm I built at the time. Uh, don't judge me, I wasn't very good at the game at the time, but regardless though, that is my whole story of Skyblock in a nutshell. Um, obviously, there's a lot of other details in the myths and all that kind of stuff. But basically, in short, for the beginning of 2022, I did not play this game. I don't know. I just kind of fell out of it. It was a really common thing for me to play this game for like 16 hours on end. It was bad. It was rough. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. It was bad. I would play this game nonstop and it was just it was just horrible. It was sucking up all my time and it was just it was just a miserable time to play the game. I mean, I'm not saying I didn't have my fun with it, but I mean, basically what I'm trying to say is that yeah, I was not I was not doing anything essentially. I was doing nothing but play this game as most people that play this game do, committing their whole life to this soul game. And then for whatever reason, in beginning early 2022 pre Crimson Isle update, I just stopped. I just stopped playing the game. I stopped, I wouldn't say having fun with it, but I just stopped logging in. The only time I would ever log into Hypixel is to play games like Bed Wars or literally anything else, but it's just, I just kind of fell out of it. And fast forward to now where there has been a ton of updates since my departure and some very big ones. I mean, if we take a look at, let's say my fast travel here, I've never been to the Crimson Isle or the New Nether Island. I've literally never touched it. I still have yet to go and it's just, it's been forever as a new year celebration. So we're gonna make sure to grab the cake while we're still floating around hub here. But in addition to the Crimson Isle update, there's been a ton of things such as reforges have been completely changed. There's now this whole new bag system, as you can see by instinct i literally clicked where the accessory bag used to be but now there's just now there's just this i mean all my talismans are still are still the old shaded system i mean everything about my profile is dated i mean there's just there's still the strong reforge and shaded on everything else as if this was still like what 2021 now you may be wondering hmm that's a complete lie what do you mean you took a break you clearly have uh you clearly have armor here that is uh most definitely most definitely not most definitely not pre uh, pre garden update which speaking of which yeah i have not done the garden either but we'll do some catching up on that so like i said i haven't played this game in an extremely long time now obviously that's a complete lie as i just proved to myself i have been playing this game at least a little bit i didn't buy the squash armor and soon to be the upgrade to the fermento armor i actually manually farmed it myself and a biggest re the biggest reason for me to actually come back was mainly just i don't know it just logging in i mean during the time Time. actually let me go to island really quick so the only thing that i would ever seem to log into when it came to skyblock was honestly just these guys the fishing minions and these guys are what just kind of they're just kind of here they're just kind of sitting here they're all tier 11 with 29 minion slots and well there's just this iron minion here uh pay no attention to him but anyways like most people i don't want to fish i'm lazy and i decided to have the minions do it for me so that was the only time i would ever be logging into skyblock and aside from that i never really played the game i just kind of existed but ver during a very recent derpy update i decided you know what i'm going to go ahead and maybe just check back in a little bit so i logged in I collected my fish minions and that was about it. But honestly, I slowly started to have more fun with the game. 
and I started doing stuff like farming. And as evident by my ridiculous farms here, I do enjoy farming. Now, yes, don't make fun of me because obviously there's the garden to do this now. And there's obviously way better farm designs than these. But this is, I mean, come on, you can't fault me too much. I mean, this is literally like when the, when the farming update for Jacob's tickets or whatever and all the new hoes and axes were brand new. So, okay, don't fault me that these farm designs kind of suck because they do. I mean, we still have, these are fine. These are all fine, but we'd have the old old flying farm for the nether wards and this jank mushroom design just don't 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 make fun of me okay okay like really but there are a lot of things that evidently show that yes i have indeed been playing since obviously what i just said like say for example this pet this pet didn't exist at the time so obviously there is some other things that have been going on but i decided you know what i decided let's just let's just go ahead and maybe jump back into skyblock and what better thing to do than i guess maybe get caught up and see what is is all going on in the world and yeah i don't i honestly don't know where to start because there's a lot of things to do it's almost like playing the game for the very first time it's very exciting because there's a lot of things that i need to catch up on so first things first we should probably talk to you and see what's going on here and actually get some magical power so we can actually get some damage so i guess we're just gonna do this with a uh, aspect of the end and then a lion pet with three force necron and a tarantula set and boom 42,000 damage, not too great, although the only damage multipliers I'm getting are god pots and then combat level whatever I am right now, combat 38, so I mean honestly, not even that bad, now you may be wondering, oh my goodness, where's your actual good weapons, well I don't even have any good weapons, because as you can see in my purse over there, my main goal was primarily to save up for Hyperion, that was my main goal before I started quitting, or before I eventually did quit, my main goal was to get Hyperion, get this, get this, I don't want this, get, get stupid rotten flesh out of here, uh, but basically my main goal was to get Hyperion, and obviously that is, that is just, that is just, yeah, considering, considering, I'm not saying I completely left the Skyblock scape, I just didn't bother playing the game, but yeah, uh, playing, yeah, um, uh, mm, yeah, what used to be a 1 billion coin weapon is still a 1 billion coin weapon. But unfortunately, as you can see, thanks to inflation and a bunch of other factors, the Hyperion itself clean is a, is a billion. And yeah, there's no point in buying a, a Hyperion with a billion coins. And even if I could afford it, or even if I wanted to get that, I can't even afford it because I only have 600 mil. Although a little bit more because I have 50 mil, give or take, in my bank and all that kind of stuff. But there's a lot of things that I have, haven't been caught up on. And oh, th this is new. This, this was not here before. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I haven't been caught up on. Like, say, for example, the museum is roughly the time where I quit. And let's say, for example, the Crimson Isle and the accessory bag upgrade that changed the whole thing to magical power and the garden update. So there's there's a lot of updates that have changed the game. So I think we should just go ahead and finally take a tour of it all. So first things first, I actually want to be competent with damage here. And I honestly, I honestly don't know what's good. Uh, maybe shaded is good, but I know they changed it. Yeah, learn from power stones. Uh, we're, we're just gonna go with, I don't know, this, this, this looks good. It doesn't look good. Oh my goodness. Uh, we're just gonna go with warrior here because that, that seems to be the best one. Okay, there we go. We've selected the warrior thing for our accessory bag. How has that changed everything? Has it actually updated all the talismans? Nope, they're still saying shaded and all that old stuff. All right, and then stats tuning. Every, we have 46 tuning points. Um, okay, so what do we want to... What do we want to put these into? Crit chance, attack speed. We're I don't know. We're gonna figure out the whole bit. We're gonna figure out the whole you know, whole this thing. We're just gonna put it into strength, I guess. We're just gonna put some into strength. Some to oh wait no no that is not what I meant to do. I meant to do crit damage. We're just gonna do some for crit damage. Um oh wow we actually have a lot of tuning points. Oh my goodness. Okay so we're just gonna do we're just gonna do that. There we go, and we're just gonna put the rest into there. And there we go, okay, so those are our stats. Probably not good, but honestly, I need to relearn the meta. And probably whatever I picked wasn't even that great anyways. Okay, I know you're supposed to have, what's it called? And yeah, there's all this equipment stuff, and there's, there's a lot of things that I need to catch up on. So since this is the best weapon I have, let's go ahead and do a damage test, and boom, 62,000 damage. Not that great, all things considered. Um, okay, well anyways, we actually need to do some stuff here. So as you can see here, this is the brand new area, never before seen, even though this update is like a year old by now give or take but anyways oh my goodness oh this is scary because i have i have never been to the crimson isles so this is this is a first for me i honestly don't know what to expect but here we go 
and welcome to the Crimson Isle. Battle against brutal mobs, collect exotic resources like spores, thorn leaf, nether warts, and more. Visit the dojo and defeat Kudra. Oh my goodness. Discover okay, wow, there is we are just winning at everything. We discovered the stronghold. And now we have some blazes that we can't one shot. <laughs> this is honestly amazing. Wow, okay. What am I even standing on? What are the chunks not loading? I am just saying I'm standing on nothing. Uh yep, this is normal. Yep, this is uh I am uh, I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating. Everything everything is fine. So uh, I got a little bit scared because there was some crazy paranormal stuff going on So I decided to uh, disregard it and I decided to check out another aspect of the game that I have never discovered So the museum hello welcome after years of work. I finally opened the museum This world has an incredible amount of interesting gear and rare items. I would like to showcase Would you like to film a museum my assistant madame goldsworth will even reward you I'll show you a list of items that I'm currently looking for you can donate any item from the list and you'll still be able to use those items whenever you want However, once you donate an item, it will be co-op soul bound, meaning that you won't be able to trade, auction, or sell the item anymore. Choose carefully. All right, so I just collected this little bit of leaflet armor. I hope, I hope I can deposit this. Can we deposit this? Oh, we can. There we go. All right, and can we donate all this? And there we go. I donated my first. I donated my first. There we go. Armor set clean value, eighty nine coins. We are rich. There we go. We've earned a reward for donating an item. Click here. And let's see, we get four Skyblock XP, which yes, by the way, there is also the new system with Skyblock XP. And by default, I was like level 170, uh, which is honestly pretty insane. I mean, I guess that's good. I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe that's good. I don't, I don't, I don't really know. And obviously there's a ton of things that I need to do in order to actually become somewhat competent at this game when it comes to Skyblock XP, like obviously putting a ton of stuff in there because there's a lot of stuff I do have, like all of these armor sets that I can put in there and a bunch of all these items like runons and all this old stuff like Spirit Scepter or gems stone gauntlet that isn't max and all these all these farming hoes which uh by the way yeah uh, pay no attention to the uh to the counter over there i am very aware that i have a problem and yep i need to be stopped but there's also only one final aspect that i think needs to be covered when it comes to obviously there's like the ice caves i don't care about that we have one thing to do the last thing i wanted to do was to talk to you the stranger on my island what a pleasant surprise i have seen you made a quite impressive island excuse my manners my name is sam i live next door or should i rather say next island you seem to have quite a talent for growing crops which is something i really couldn't say about myself you see i've been quite the struggle with my farm that i inherited from my father he was very he was a very skillful farmer not like me i have two left thumbs when it comes to farming i was wondering maybe if you could help me out with my farm and we are going to say yes wow thank you so much and this warps us into here the garden welcome to the garden very exciting stuff here and honestly yeah, that's just about all I was going to do. I'm not going to just start going down the rabbit hole of this whole shebang and all that stuff. But honestly, my main goal for this was just to kind of come back to it. I'm not saying that I'm going to be some crazy Skyblock content creator or anything like that, because honestly, I don't want to play this game for that long. I mean, I enjoy this game. I really do. But honestly, I don't want to be committing my life and soul to playing this game and making like daily videos or whatever or I don't even know. In terms of this channel, I'm honestly just going to be making videos about whatever I find interesting about the game, if I'm gonna be totally honest. I'm gonna be keep doing my own thing, but honestly, I'm just gonna be going around, maybe showing some highlights, maybe rare drops, maybe some stuff, and I don't know. And speaking of which, But yeah, it's stuff like that that I'm going to be showcasing. Nothing really too special, but if you want to stick around and also see the other stuff that I plan to do uh, regarding this channel and other videos, then I guess you could leave a like and subscribe and all that stuff. And I'm going to go off and claim the coin over there before it despawns. Oh, I need riches.